Hi guys. So I just thought I'd do a very quick video on what is my favourite custom kernel. I am running a completely stock ROM, but I am running custom kernel, and it's from a developer from XDA forums called Bedalus. If I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Just show you if I go into the settings, I'm running it here. You can see it there. Three point one four two. Yeah. This kernel is just really simple, it's really clean, it's got no crap that you don't really need on it. Not a million different settings that you never use, I'll just go through some of them. You can get NS tools here, you can get that from the market. It lets you control some of the functions, if I go over here. So you've got the backlight dimmer, this controls these buttons here, the capacitive touch buttons. If I turn it on, you can set delay time. If I just use my phone normally up here for a second, wait for that time to run, you can see the lights turn off and they'll stay off until you touch the bottom. Probably saves a bit of battery, it also makes it look quite nice I think without the lights on. It's not like you're going to forget where they are, so, and then you just tap it to, to get it back on. Other functions are they here, backlight notification. People really love this. I haven't. I don't. You really use it. If you haven't got a notification light like the Nexus S, this is great because it uses these buttons down here when you've got a notification and your screen's off to light up and blink. So that's really nice. The battery life extender. Uh, this originally is used to uh, lower your percent, and it'll only charge your battery to ninety percent, which will in turn will help. Uh, the stress on your battery and so you can kind of um, have more charges at it, make it last longer. You won't have to get a new battery all the time. Um, if you leave it on 100 it will say on the charge when it's fully really charged 100 but it is only cosmetic, it hasn't like overcharged your battery, it's only a cosmetic fix but it's still a nice one, it's nice to see 100% charged um, instead of like 96 it's like oh I've lost 4% but yeah even though it's only cosmetic but it's still nice to use. Um, I've used pretty much all the kernels that have been available at one point and this has been my favourite just because of its simplicity and ease of use. You can flash it just a normal way, you haven't got a million different I.O. schedulers so you've only got two to choose from which is nice. Deadline's been tweaked and it's, it's really good so I suggest using Deadline. Um, and again, in the governors, there's not a million different ones that you have no idea what they do. There's only three. Again, these have all been tweaked. On demand or Smart RSV2. Smart RSV2, if you're into more performance and battery saving, use that. On demand is a bit better on the battery, but it's really, um, really, really smooth as well. Now, there's a slight problem with NS Tools that keeps going back to 200 megahertz here. I don't know why, but if you keep clicking it, eventually it does go back to 100 and it does stay on 100 on the CPU spy which I can show you here. So it is using that state. Uh, a few versions ago the developer put in um, an experimental patch called Idle 2 which is meant to be a better version of Deep Idle which is meant to save the battery by turning off parts of the processor when they're not in use. Um, so far that didn't go down too well, um, it ended up using a lot more battery than saving any in my experience. The battery life on this now is fantastic, I mean, I mean the kernel can only do so much battery so really if you want to do most battery saving you should change your ROM. Saying that, what is my battery on now? I haven't used my phone a lot today, I mean it's been on 7 hours with about 44 minutes of screen on time and I'm still on 70% but I could tell you that if I was on the stock kernel it would not be on 70% if I was on the stock kernel I honestly say it would be on 40 maybe 45% last night when I went to bed I put it on charge and I still had 40% battery life before I had this kernel I was putting it on charge with maybe 1-2% to battery life or I had to bring my charger downstairs and charge the phone because it wasn't going to last the rest of the night. It's really, really good kernel, really good battery saver. I'd recommend it the whole way. It's so simple and easy to use. 
like I said, there's not a million different features that you don't need or don't want. Um, what else is there to say? That's about it, really. That's how nice it is. I mean, head over to XDA. There's a whole thread on it. Um, if you've got an XSS, I suggest using it because it's amazing. Obviously, you need to be stock. You don't need, sorry, that was rubbish. You don't need to be stock. You need to be rooted and have the custom recovery so that you can actually install it. This kernel has made my phone smoother. Um, I don't know how, obviously the, they change some of the stuff in the um, governors um, and the I.O. schedulers to give the best like frequencies and stuff. Well, I don't really understand that much about it, but to give the best kind of rates for it or where it should go in like the CPU graphs, how quickly it should ramp up and how quickly it should ramp down. And it uh, definitely saves battery life in my opinion. Okay, that was just my quick video on that kernel. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe. Press that button up there. Please, I need subscribers. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later.